MMK model. Uh, the MMK model is literally when you have single channel uh, multiple phase as you would see here uh, so let's see how it's to be done okay so all what you have to do just to remind you to install to add the queuing uh, at the end and you go and you check the non Markov so the number of server is uh, three for example and so it's gonna be here I'll show it to you in a bit so we have uh, you could see it here and this one we've got four just let me just to, to make this one like really big so we've got like four number of servers we have two queues so literally this one is a single channel uh, multiple multiple phase or multiple channel multiple phase mm4 and this one is mm3 so like for, uh, for example if this one is five all the value will change you got the mean number in station mean time at station mean number in queue mean time in queue mean number in service mean time in service efficiency all the values that you require if arrival rate here is 15 for example how the value would change if the arrival service rate sorry if this is a service rate if the arrival rate is one so let's put this one higher so just to see does it change if the value here is 20 which is like a really huge issue so you could see here the uh, efficiency is like really low and the time and like service rate is 10 per hour but you've got like 20 arriving but you have four server the fact you have four servers so this will multiply this value the server is by 40 because there are four people are working if you I will show you one thing if you took this one down to one so you've got like a huge problem you can't solve this problem because there's like lots of queue if you put it to which is uh, so it's still the problem it has to be at least bigger than the value so three is fine and it's it's working the fact it give an error because it's like all busy okay so if you have any question about this let me know and I need to remind you this is a multi-channel multi-phase uh, queue